Hey everyone, Jason here from Grip Tape. In the last video, where we were talking about the Grip Tape nodes for Comfy UI, we looked at the Create Agent node and the ability to add different configurations, meaning different models that it was using to do its work. In this video, we're going to focus on some of the tools that are available. So, what exactly is a tool in Grip Tape? Well, if you go ahead and go to the Grip Tape menu over here and you go to Grip Tape Docs, what you'll see is there's a entry here on tools. And these are basically different tools that Grip Tape is able to use to do various tasks. For example, there is a date time tool which allows it to access local date time. There is a calculator tool to be able to do complex calculations. There is a REST API client, an SQL client, a structure run client. There's a bunch of different tools, all of which are available to make it possible for agents to do more complicated tasks other than just a general prompt. Within the Grip Tape Comfy UI nodes, we have a series of tools available. Not all of them that are in the framework are available yet, but currently we have a calculator tool, a date time tool, a web search tool, a web scraper tool, and a file manager. There is also a Grip Tape Cloud Knowledge Base tool, which I will talk about a little bit later. What you can do is basically take any of these tools and give them to an agent, and then that agent will use those tools as required based off of whatever prompt you give it. For example, if I were to create a display text node and ask this agent, can you tell me what day it is right now? And run this, it would say, I am unable to provide real-time information, including the current date. However, you can easily check the date on your own device. Super not helpful. But if we were to take the date time tool and we were to plug it directly into the tools here and run this prompt, you'll see the agent has a different response. In this case, it says today is June 15th, 2024. Basically, because we have a tool connected, the Grip Tape agent understands that it can use these tools, whatever tools you have connected to it, to get information. Super, super handy. Getting the date is one thing, but what if we wanted to search the web? Well, we can use the web search tool, bring this in and say, what news is available about griptape.ai? So what this will do is then decide to use the web search tool, It'll do a search and it'll come back with a bunch of information. For example, here's some news that's available about Grip Tape. So uh, what, there's the Grip Tape 2.2 release, framework for AI agents and workflow. So this is basically just getting a whole bunch of information about Grip Tape based off of this web search. Very cool. But what if we wanted to do a search and then also get some information about uh, the results of one of these things? So we might want to use the web scraper. In this case, what we want to do is actually have both of these tools be able to be used by the agent. But what you can see is right now, I can only drag one tool at a time. Well, there is a solution for that, and that's available if you do a add node, right mouse button, add node, grip tape, agent tools, you'll notice there is a tool list. So grip tape combined tool list option. And what that will do is allow you to take multiple tools. So for example, we can take the uh, web scraper and the web search. We could take both of those, plop those in here. Let's move this over to the side. And now the agent can actually use both of these tools to get information. So let's say what news is available about griptape.ai and take the first result and summarize it. And so what this will now do is basically use both the web search and the web scraper tool to get a result. This will take a little bit of time to come back because obviously it's doing a lot of work and thinking. So you see now that it comes back with some information about the some news from, actually this is a little bit of a while ago, but that's okay. I didn't ask it for a specific date. I just said, give me some news and take the first result and uh, summarize it. So now you can see how you can add different tools to agent and how you can include a tool list to basically combine these tools and give the agent the ability to use multiple tools at once, depending on how it needs to. One of the things you might be noticing about each of these tools is that they have this parameter called off prompt. And what off prompt lets you do is basically take any of the results that, that are happening when you tell the agent to use a tool and you can tell it whether or not you want that information that comes back to be given back to the LLM or to be kept private and kept off prompt. This is really, really useful when you've got a massive amount of information coming back. You may not want the LLM to have access to all that data. You might want to grab the data, summarize it, and only give the summary to the LLM or something like that. So you can use off prompt to make that happen. But if you want to get a real clear view of what it is, why don't we ask Grip Tape itself? So I'm going to go ahead and just use the web scraper tool. I'll give that to the agent. 
and I'm going to look at the documentation for off prompt. So if we go to grip tape, we'll go to the docs. And if we look at our actual latest version of the documentation as of June 14th, we go to latest, there is some new documentation coming out that talks quite a lot about how off prompt works. So I'm going to go to framework and you'll see there is a task memory and off prompt option right here. So I'm just going to grab this URL. I'll say, I don't understand off prompt. Here's the documentation and I'll give it a link to the docs and I'll say, can you explain it very simply in a few sentences? And at the moment I've got off prompt set to false. Let's run this and we get a result which says off prompt is a parameter in grip tapes task memory feature that controls whether or not the output of a tool is stored in task memory or returned directly to the large language model. When it's set to true, the tool's output is stored in memory for later use. When it's set to false, the output is returned immediately to the LLM. This feature is useful for handling large data, sensitive information, or non-textual content that needs to be processed separately. To give you an example of what that looks like, I'm actually going to look at the code as it's running inside Comfy UI. So right now I'm in Visual Studio Code, and I can actually be watching the results of what the agent has been doing as we've been running. So I'm going to scroll down and see where we started the information from. All right, so this is the prompt that we gave the agent. So it says, here's the input. I don't understand off prompt. Here's the documentation. Can you explain it in very few sentences? Here's what the agent is doing. This is its thought process. I need to access the provided URL to retrieve the documentation content. Then I'll summarize the content to provide a simple explanation. Here's the action that happens. So it's going to use the web scraper. It's going to get content. It looks at that documentation and then scrapes the documentation. And this is all of the information that comes back from that. So if we look at the actual documentation, you'll see in here, it talks about off prompt. It says what's 10 raised to the power of five. It's looking at the calculator information. It talks about the task memory client and large amounts of data, all this sort of stuff. This is what's coming back to the LLM right now. That entire web page is coming back through. So we said, can you get all this and explain it to me? And it basically sends all of that information back to the LLM to then summarize to give me this result. So if instead we go ahead and we say, all right, I want off prompt to be true. And I'm going to run this again. And I'll pop, pop back over to uh, Visual Studio Code so we can watch the results as it's coming through. You'll see here it says, I don't understand off prompt. Here's the documentation. Can you explain it in a few sentences? The agent says, I need to access the provided URL just like it did before. It gives it the action of uh, using the web scraper. But then instead of sending all of the output back to the LLM, it says, oh, the output is stored in memory with memory name task memory. It creates a subtask essentially. And all that stuff gets stored in memory. And then what's passed back to the agent is the basically the location in memory of that memory. So it's just the artifact namespace, which is right here. And it says, hey, can you summarize this for me? So it's able to use a subtask to get a summary. And the only information that is sent back to the agent is the summary text here. So we get the same output. Off prompt is a parameter, blah, blah, blah. It explains it. But all of the information on that web page wasn't sent back to the LLM. It was just summarized and only the result was sent back. This is a great way of managing context window, a great way of managing the number of tokens that you're using. It's a super powerful feature of the grip tape framework and it's built in to the grip tape comfy UI nodes by either turning on or off this off prompt. Okay, so there's a quick introduction into how to use the various tools inside comfy UI with the grip tape nodes. Uh, to get to any of these tools, you just do add node, grip tape, agent tools, and there they all are right there. Uh, in one of the upcoming tutorials, I will talk about the grip tape cloud knowledge base tool, which is super handy. Have a fantastic day. Thank you very much.